today. On Make Shape Great. We're gonna take these supplies to make this Finding Nemo lamp. All right, so we're gonna take uh, our Rit Royal Blue dye, and we're gonna go ahead and pour the whole bottle into this bucket, and then we're gonna place the shade in there so it dyes the shade blue. So let's get started. Lowe's is not a sponsor, but we welcome them. <laughs> shade in the dye for about 30 minutes or so and then we're going to check it to make sure that the shade is the desired color so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> all right so i'm going to go ahead and spray paint the base and the pole for the lamp i'm using a textured paint that kind of looks like sand and it kind of feels like sand for the base and then i'm going to use two different shades of blue for the pole to kind of give it that ocean feel so uh, let's get started on that All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and check the lampshade and see how blue it is. I'm actually gonna use this hanger and just try to grab it so I can pull it out and not get it all over my fingers, but I kinda look like a Smurf already anyway from the spray paint. I can't grab it. <laughs> it's like a really bad game, guys. Oh, there it is, okay. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty. That turned out very nice. All right, so let's just hang it straight up. Yep, we're gonna take it up. Um, I'd say let's leave that bucket there. Just go try to trip and actually I'll move the bucket. Yeah, so you're gonna slide the bucket over. Just a hair. That should be good. All right. Um, I'm too short. Oh. <laughs> Let me help. You I'm out a there. midget. <laughs> oh, you got it. Careful, don't get it all over you. Well, I can't. I'm there you go. Film and see. Sorry, I could have took the camera. That would have been smart. Yeah. All right, so, that's a pretty blue. It is, that is amazing blue. That turned out very that nice. Was actually 40 minutes, guys, is how long that stayed in there. That's actually not bad at all. I really like that color. Hopefully it stays like that. It's a very watery blue. It'll probably As lighten it, up a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah, but that's good because so. it's going to be a lamp. So, you know, you yep. want it to shine through. So that's so. not too bad then. All right, all right cool. So what's next? All right, so uh, next we're going to let the spray paint finish drying. Shouldn't take too long. And then once that finishes, we're going to go ahead and glue the... Um, hot, not hot we got, glue, but we got super, gluing to do. We got gluing to do. We're there gonna we go. glue like little <laughs> artificial plants and stuff. So let's get that done. All right, guys. Cool. See you soon. All right. So everything is dry, and I went ahead and I took off the masking tape that was on the top, so we didn't get paint on the inside. Um, pulled the cord through. Got everything screwed together. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take all these um, artificial coral and plants. And we're gonna go ahead and soup glue them to the base. I'm gonna use Gorilla Glue, uh, cause it's durable. And we're gonna go ahead and glue everything in, place it and make it look like a wreath design. And if you can tell, she did this. It actually looks and feels like sand. Yeah. And then she did like a splatter effect on the pole to give it like the illusion of water. Which is kind of cool. She did a good job. And she got paint on her hands. Yeah, I'm covered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get this stuff glued down, and uh, then we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys? Let's go. So now the lampshade is finished drying. It's actually a really pretty shade of blue, except for the bottom. Um, I think I just set it in something, so that's okay though. Um, so anyway, I'm going to actually take a glow in the dark paint and I'm going to just draw the outline of bubbles to kind of give it that like the bubbles coming up out of the water and just do like little ones around different sizes to so when you try out the light it glows. So let's try that. All right, guys, let's get started. <laughs> Please. 
because if I want it a different direction, so I'm gonna turn it. What does it matter? Because I care. Okay. If I did it all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna screw in this nice light bulb they gave us. Maybe. <laughs> Go ahead and crook it, hold up. You can't screw anything in straight today, can you? Not today. This is not going in. It's good. It's good. All right. All right. There we go. All right. So now we're going to take our Finding Nemo characters. The reason I did Finding Nemo is I'm actually doing this for one of my best friend's uh, sons, and he's two, and he loves Finding Nemo. So I'm going to do this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke little holes in the base of the um, lampshade using this push pin or an exacto knife depending on which one works better and then i'm going to take uh the push pin or the exacto knife and also put holes in the squeaky toys they're bath toys i bought and then i'm taking clear fishing line and i'm going to thread it through the toy and then i'm going to thread that through the lamp and we're going to attach them at different heights around it kind of make it look like they're swimming around in the ocean so let's get started threading the fishing line through which by the way is really hard so I suggest getting a needle and doing this kind of like sewing because it makes it a lot easier I did not have one um, but I'm gonna actually now put a hole also in the lampshade right here at the bottom you can see like right above the rim and then I'm going to thread this through and attach Nemo about right above the sea anemone so that way they can you know clown what's fish. a sea anemone that thing this thingy oh that's what clownfish hide in that's what they live in Okay. See, that's why I'm doing that. See? Makes sense. Yeah. She's right. a rhyme to her reason sometimes. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put the hole in. I'm using a push pin for it because you don't need a really big hole. But it's big enough that you can see. Yep, but it's big enough that you can see. All right. And then I'm going to thread the fishing line through and just pull it. And you just decide what height you want him at. I want him about there. I'd do a little lower. You think so? Yeah, I'd do it closer to the plane. Like that one? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to tie it in a knot. And then cut off the excess when you're done. Oop, it dropped. That's okay. There we go. I mean, you get him closer to that thing, that's fine. No, he's good. Right now, I'm holding them out, so I'm doing the tying. Okay. I'm cut the excess. Make sure it's the right line. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, so now we just got one more. We have one more. We have squirt. We're gonna add one, and then we're done. And he goes over here? Yep, he's gonna go over there. Okay. Time lapse. I hope my uh, friend's son really loves this. Um, he's gonna, I think he's gonna be ecstatic. I'm ecstatic, I think it's awesome. 
All right, guys, so if you like what you see in this video, go ahead and like and comment and subscribe below. And then you're also going to uh, check us out on social media at Make Shade Create. And you're gonna check us out on Patreon if you'd like to support us at backslash Make Shade Create. Uh, again, guys, this was another episode of Make Shade Create, and I hope you see us soon. Have a good night.